everybody welcome back to the channel um we're back out here on the old ranger explorer project uh, it's been a while since we've um, had time to come out here and work on these things but uh um, anyways we're we're getting back on it finally got a little bit of time um so today we got a little bit of cleanup to do i believe see all that gunk down in there get closer it's just man it's thick nasty while we got that motor out we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna clean this up scrape all this junk off um throw some degreaser on there pressure wash it i kind of like to get it a little bit clean before we put that other motor back in and when we get this motor out over here of course it's left off right where you guys remember it um we're gonna pull this baby out and we're gonna go ahead and pressure wash this little number off as well and hopefully uh have everything somewhat clean for a fresh start i guess so let's get after it cleaning up coming back Anyways, we just found a old what piece of wood what is that a stake yeah just scrape some of that gunk off of there uh, and then we'll scoop it up with a shovel so we don't leave all that crap there for the dog to roll in later after we move the truck but uh just make it a little bit cleaner when we spray it and stuff coming back <laughs> Oh, that's a messy situation, man. <laughs> okay, well, here's kind of the first little go around, and she's working pretty dang good. Anyhow, I mean, you can still see there's some there's some gunk on there, so we're gonna hit it again with some degreaser, one more round, and it'll be fine after that, you know. So, I mean, we don't have to have it spotless. Let's not get crazy. Coming back. All right, we gotta wait about 10, 15 minutes for that uh, degreaser to do its job on the Ranger. So we're gonna take, you know, 10 minutes and wash up the old Kubota. Um, you'll notice over here, we got the little uh, the half grapple, which we haven't finished yet, but um, we put it on. We had to move a jack fence the other day and it worked just great. So, side, side note. Oh, there you have it just a quick job you know we're not trying to get it perfect we just knocked off a bunch of the crap and the grime he's spraying the crap out of me but that's all right so quick spray down take it back to the ranger finish it up and get on that motor coming back all right we just finished up with our second round of degreaser and pressure washing and as you can see she cleaned up pretty nice not perfect but you know what that's it's just fine it'll be fine so looks like we're ready to take the other engine out degrease it pressure wash it and stuff it right in there coming back all right well we're going to get ready to take these fuel lines apart and like we had said previously in a different episode it takes a special little deal which many of you have seen obviously and we found my little set so just slide her on there press that up into that little spring like so and like magic <laughs> usually sometimes they're a little bit of a booger Gee. 
little stinker. <laughs> you need to go back in there, huh? Oh, it's coming out. He had it. Oh, look at that. There's still had some fuel in there. Now my hand's clean. Sweet. Anyways, just like that. And let's see, the other one's probably a different size. Usually one size bigger than the other. Let's see, grab that other one. Give that one the other one too. I think it's coming off this point now. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, don't get discouraged if it's a little bit difficult because some of them are. Look at this, guys. I mean, I've never seen one like this. I don't know why. They got this flexible end on the WD-40. We picked it up this morning. We thought might be handy until I paid for it and it was like $13, I don't know. And I thought, well, I mean, I hope I use it. Otherwise, it might be the last one I buy with that flex end, but um, we'll see. I guess if it comes in handy, it's worth it. We'll, we'll find out. Yeah, spray up in there. Oh yeah, sure. Cause that needs done. There you go. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, as you guys can see that we're finally getting this uh, engine lifted out of the old Explorer here. Um, it's going pretty smoothly, but as we go along here, you know, we uh, can see a couple things that we hadn't got prepared yet, but no big deal. Give you a little peek here. It's just a couple of connections. These, you know, this, the block heater is still st strapped in and everything. So just a couple connections. We're going to get those undone. <clears throat> Looks like that exhaust is going to hit but we got some room to tilt back so i think we'll be able to get it out no big deal leave it on there Let's see how much room we got here so i think we got room um, we're going to undo these things and uh, give it the final go and hopefully slide her out of here and then degree degrease this motor we'll see what happens pretty the way we did it or nothing with nothing about it was pretty but whatever so. <laughs> she's sexy yeah, look at that we got a transfer case for sale if anybody needs one <laughs> the whole um, explorer if you want it yeah what's stupid about it is we have another motor sitting in the shop over there just sitting there we could have just pulled the wiring harness and been done with it. But we don't know if that one runs. We know if this one runs. Anywho. Come on, Marvel. So this is exciting. So I guess tomorrow on the next episode, um, it's going to be all about this stuff right here. This is wiring harness. Take all the wiring harness out, swap it over there, get that one yanked out, this one in there, good to go, rock and roll. And then we stuff the motor in there, see what happens. It's going to be harder. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right, we've had the degreaser on for about 10 to 15 minutes. What little degreaser we had. 
Now we're gonna pressure wash it, see if it comes clean or not. All right, well, she's starting to look a little bit better. Like I said, we didn't have much degreaser in that old can left over, but um, yeah, we're gonna have to get one, possibly two more cans to get this old greasy girl back clean, ready to rock, you know. Um, but anyways, we'll revisit that tomorrow. Um, she's starting to look pretty decent. Looks like something I'm gonna wanna work on here in a few. Anyways, a little recap from today. We uh, kind of cleaned out the engine bay of the Ranger, got him ready to go, got the old 4.0 extracted out of the Explorer today, started cleaning her up. So tomorrow we're going to come back, finish cleaning that up, and then we're going to start swapping the wiring harness out, get it over here in the Ranger. Hopefully everything works great. So thanks for watching the video, everybody. Um, to those that subscribed recently, we thank you. Those who have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like our videos if you would. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll catch you down the road on part four of the Ford Ranger Motorsport.